Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Star, the Adult Entertainer Gamer, and today we are playing a game called Finger Bones. Uh, yep, you heard right, Finger Bones. Doesn't that sound a little weird? Doesn't it sound less like a psychological horror game and more about, you know, like, sexual? Like, that girl over there just got finger boned. Yeah, finger boned! Woo! Um, but seriously, uh... The, the name doesn't really sound like it fits. Uh, I don't want to judge the game before I play it, but uh, it's it's supposed to be a serious game from what I read. Uh, I don't know anything about it, except it's short. Uh, it's free. The game's free, which is awesome. Uh, but with a name like Finger Bones, I, I just come up with so many like sexual jokes in my head. Uh, anyways, let's let's read how to play this fucker. Finger Bones. A psychological horror game by David Szymanski. Szymanski. Sizzle 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 Yep, we're gonna call you David. Sizzle Mansky. So David made this game. Uh, Finger Bones is intended to be completed in a single sitting. Okay. And there is no save function. Alright. It is suggested that you set aside about half an hour to complete it. At least, I guess, you know? To exit, visit the door you started at. I guess that's if you just give up or don't want to play? Or is that like, or do you just explore everything and then you're going to leave through the door? I don't know. Anyways, that's the exit, the door. So, whatever. I use WADZ to move and the mouse button to interact with stuff. Cool. In DOS environment. Press escape to see the screen again. I don't need to. Oh, whoa. That was... Uh, an abrupt transition, so... Alright, so there's the exit door. And look at it. It's all, like, fucking blocky and crap. See, look at the doorknob. It's, like, it's like square. It looks like it's made out of clay. Uh, it, it looks kind of familiar. Uh, anyways. Uh, what the hell is this? It's, like, cobwebs? This is fucking gross. Clean up your place, asshole. Anyways... Uh, let's look around. Uh, holy crap, look at this. Oh wow, my eyes. This fucking light's so bright. Look at this. Wow. Holy crap. I, I feel like I'm going to fucking melt standing in, in this light. But, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, mock down my summon sign here. Praise the sun! And maybe, uh, I can get some help. Maybe there'll be a, a fog door in here, then I can have people come help give them sunlight medals. Anyways, uh, oh look, look at the indicator changes when you go over stuff. Woo! Woo! Well, at least, at least it tells you what you can interact with. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. Wait, what? So you're basically like, uh, I was with Katie, uh, but I wanted to read, so I distracted her with TV and I went here to read, and then not read, because you're like, you know what, I'm gonna go read because I want to read. Ah, oh, fuck it. That's what it sounds like! What? The, what? That's stupid! Uh, wait, no, I wasn't done! Go back! I could write anything more than- wait, I couldn't write anything more than usual handful- oh, yeah. Okay, uh, wait, I got lost. There we go. Couldn't have stuff reading, had to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Okay, so did you get. So, is Katie your ex uh, wife? Then why would you fucking need to distract her with TV? Like, is, I'm, I'm assuming Katie's the ex, right? If Katie's like. If she, if you're divorced from from your your uh, wife or husband, and they're like, "Hey, where are you going?" You can be like, "Fuck, what do you care? I'm not with you. Fuck you. I'm gonna go read." And if she's like, "You can't do that," you can be like, "Fuck yeah, I can." So whatever. Anyways, uh, let's see. Medication didn't help in divorce. So they didn't, yep, read that because I am not depressed. I am enlightened. Uh, this is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Woo! Okay, well, that was great. So, what's over here? 
Can I interact with any of this? Can I oh, whoa, what the fuck? Did I just pick up a flashlight? Holy crap. I didn't even see the flashlight there. I just wanted to go inspect these. What other random shit can I pick up if I go around clicking? None of these? Holy crap. Look at this. The guy doesn't fucking clean his place. What is this anyways? This reminds me of like the the like residue aliens leave in aliens. You ever see aliens? Of course you fucking see aliens. Uh Wow. I'm talking about James Cameron's version, but Ridley Scott had the the slime too. So uh, we got some face huggers running around here. Better be careful. This is supposed to be like a psychological horror game. Ooh, look, more stuff. What is this? What is this? Is this like is this like a like a, a pen? It doesn't look like a pen. Like, I know what this is. This is a mug. Or a place you put pencils. That is a book. Uh, this looks like a keyboard? It won't let me interact with it, though. I don't know why. It, it changes, so why can't I touch it? It's fucking weird. And who has a keyboard with no fucking monitor? It's going into the wall. Whatever. You know what? It doesn't matter. Anyways, this thing... Looks like he ordered fucking, uh, like, sushi, and when he was, like, trying to get the sushi after it fell into the soy sauce, he pressed down too hard and broke his chopstick, and this is, like, the end of the chopstick. Or, wait, hold on, shit, look. Holy crap! I think it's a doobie! It's fucking, it's fucking weed! This guy's been smoking! No wonder he's got a keyboard without a monitor. <laughs> fucking high as fuck, this guy. Anyways, um... There's a thing right here. Let's read it. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions, and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that in a is fast, it should not be determined by feelings. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and unchangeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral. Too many naturals in that in that uh, that sentence. It's like the natural naturals of natural blah 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 blah. Whatever. Unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. That was fucking boring. We don't need to read any more of that shit. Okay, what's this? This looks like like a secret wall. See, look, it looks like a secret wall, like an indent. Like seriously. Maybe, maybe, I need like a fucking bomb. This is some Zelda shit going on. I need a, I need a, a, a bomb to blow this wall open. Come on. Can't interact with it, whatever. It's over here. Can I open this drawer? Oh shit, look, another thing. I, I just want to point out that this fucking, this fucking handle, look, it disappears when you look at it this way. It doesn't even look like a handle. Like, look, it blurs into the fucking texture. You're like... Duh, where's the handle? Oh, right there. Holy shit! Great, great differentiating. Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me, now you don't. Holy fucking crap. Talk about blending in the graphics. Should make a game about hiding shit in plain sight. Anyways, uh, the door the door knob looks just like this uh, little knob on the drawer. So maybe this whole place was built by the same fucking company. Like they built the furniture and the building. Alright, let's read this. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker. Well, now I know I am a survival bunker with fucking lights, like, like, windows. That How is that a survival bunker? Someone's just gonna come over and, like, fucking chuck a rock, and then boom, survival bunker? Gone. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Maybe they're bulletproof, okay? Are they grenade-proof? I mean, how... Just the fact that there's windows is kind of weird. Uh, I don't know. It's it's just uh, weird. And why am I in a survival bunker? Did shit, did shit go down? Is this like zombie apocalypse? Is this like nuclear war? Metal Gear? Uh, Godzilla? I mean, what what's going on? Uh, is this like uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane shit going on? Uh, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose... She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay, so maybe Katie is the daughter. Okay, so... That's the password. Uh, can I, can I put it in the fucking keyboard? 
The keyboard doesn't work. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on a chair. Uh, do you work now? No. Alright, maybe I'm missing something. Anything over here? Oh, I, I, did I read you? No. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Okay. You wanted to bang in the cellar? That's okay. I don't judge you. Here's the door. Alright. Can't open you either. That's fucking great. What's this? What are you? Can I? Oh, there's a button. You have a button, right? Everything looks fucking stupid in this game, so. Holy shit! <laughs> hear how loud that is? I'm just hearing. <laughs> Holy crap. I think that's a generator. Oh, look! There's a red light over here. I'm guessing that this works now. So the name name was Katie, right? Katie, Katie. Katie. Did it work? I didn't hear an indication. Katie. Oh, uh, alright. Well, let's go try it. I like how I have unlimited batteries, by the way, for my flashlight. Like, this is great. Super realistic. But I'm not really not complaining. <gasps> Holy crap. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Wow, it got really dark as soon as I got through here. No wonder you have to pick up the flashlight. What is this? More more uh, residue. Maybe it's ectoplasmic residue. Slime has been fucking flying around here. Something strange in your basement. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! It's finally happened! The whole world is in chaos of thunder and screams! And when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. Okay, so I guess Lynn is the uh, the mother uh, who is divorced, which makes sense. So he left Katie to watch TV like a bad uh, parent, while he while he uh, went to fuck off and read books. That makes sense, and and he doesn't care if Lynn's dead because Lynn's a piece of shit. But we haven't heard her side of the story yet. Maybe this guy's a piece of shit, or are we even playing as a guy? Dun dun dun! I don't know. Probably. Uh, but Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and, and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Alright. That's a thing. Ooh, what's this? Can I go down here? No. What about you? Can I go in here? Can't fucking do any of that. Ooh, look. Another page. Uh, I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyways. Okay. If I'm in a... Like, is my daughter supposed to be in one of these locations? Because uh, I made it here with my daughter, right? So where the fuck is she? I have a bad feeling about this game. Oh, look. There's another page. Why can't I touch you? There we go. The true room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. It's got to be... It's got to be Lynn. Lin Lin City of Sin. Uh, probably because that's his ex. This guy does sound like John Goodman from uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Which, you know, a lot of people complained about that fucking movie. They're like, like, people are telling me there weren't monsters in it. Are you fucking kidding me? There's monsters in it. It's like, at the end, fucking monsters. Spoiler alert. And they're like, oh, it's not the Cloverfield monster, though. It's in the same universe, asshole. You think Cloverfield monster's the only monster? Is Godzilla the only monster in Godzilla? Hey, guess what? No, he's not. So fuck you, Lynn. Fuck you, people who complain about that movie. Fast Potter waking up. There's death in your basement. I have a feeling maybe... Maybe I killed my daughter. Maybe she's dead. Oh, it opens. Woo. What's this? Tools? There's a screwdriver and a hammer. And blood? Is there blood here? And a saw? Maybe I ate my daughter. Holy shit. 
Maybe she's still alive and I cut off her legs and I roasted them up and she's just laying around here like a headless, like, not headless, but like a legless fucking, uh, deformed monster. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we are barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons in the candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Uh, to be honest with you, turning crayons in the candles, that's pretty, it's pretty cool actually. Very, very MacGyver of this guy. Can I open you? I can't open any of this shit. Oh wow, another one. What are you? There are things I've wanted to do for years, desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Oh. Maybe he's fucking his daughter. Ooh. That's... That's not good. I guess... I guess I'm like... I guess it might be okay if you're in Mississippi or North Carolina. Ah, oh, fuck it, yeah. Ah, uh, some people are like, oh, that was in poor taste, Tiffany. Then you haven't been watching my fucking star plays. I changed the storm code something I can easily remember. N-N-Y. The rest of the word is missing. N-N-Y. What the fuck's N-N-Y? Is it, uh... Hold on. Would any of these have N-N-Y in it? There are things I wanted to do for years. Desires I kept locked up in the back of the room. I don't remember seeing an N and Y in any of these. I've seen a woman, now I realize that I want to have sex with my daughter and fuck up the ass. Yep, I read that, you perverted piece of shit. Uh, she remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. None of this has N and Y in it. Is it funny? Is it bunny? Is it, uh, runny? Is it Danny, maybe? Is it Fanny? Maybe he wants to fuck his daughter in the Fanny. That could be it. So maybe he, he's eating her and fucking her. Holy shit, that would be like a double fuck. And and not in like not neither one of them are in a good way. That's it! Like, he cuts off her fingers and then fingers her fingers her with them. That's why it's called finger bones. Holy shit, I figured it out. Finger bones. Makes sense. Perfect sense. Fucked up. Uh, I don't see there's an N. And an N and a Y in monotony, but it's not next to each other. I could try monotony. None of this makes. None of these have N and Y in it. I don't think. Uh, Padu, what are you? Boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder. There's blood. No N and Y. Padu, padu, padu. It's finally happened. The whole thing is in chaos. No one screams. I'm ecstatic. Reach Lynn for days. She's probably don't care, but Katie was here. Oh, you know what it could be? Because Lynn has N and Y in it. Except it's backwards. Could be Lynn. Oh, it could be... Maybe it's Lynn again? Maybe it's not? It could be Monotony. I'm not sure if the N and Y has to follow each other or if it's like... Like, it didn't show N dot dot N dot dot Y. Let's, let's try them all. Mono Tony. Nope. Lynn? N N Y. Oh, crap. Go back. N N Y L? Okay, well, it says it's something he's easily remembered, so it's probably Lynn. But I don't know why. Wait, why is there a knife stuck in here? Like, you can't. Wait, didn't he come here to fucking read? Why are there not- why are there two knives here and why is one in- in the wood? Is he like, sexually frustrated? Yep, that's what it's gotta be. Dude, instead of banging your daughter, why don't you like, castrate yourself with that fucking knife, you perverted piece of shit. Anyways, to open this? Nope, okay. Are you open? Is this door open? Oh, it is. Anything in here? Don't hide from me, daughter! I've just come here to give you some lovin'! I'm a bag of DNA and I exist to make more of myself. What? I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. 
I wrote books and created uh, because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artifact lo artificial laws to live by. Because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes. Dreams, love, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence. Oh my god. This is sounding like he's fucking his daughter. He's totally banging his daughter. This has to be it. I, I'm, I'm not going to throw the eating part out of it either. Uh, he did say they were if they run low on food. Uh, figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, now they are needless confusion, and here I am, the last man on earth, for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Oh, wow, this guy sounds fucking awful. Holy crap. Oh, look, a button. Holy shit. What did the button open? Maybe it opened up. Uh, this. Don't worry, daughter, I'm coming for ya. What did that open? Did it open a coffin so I can fucking shoot myself and fall on it because this guy's a douchebag? Maybe it opened something upstairs. Maybe it opened the fucking Zelda wall! What the fuck? I'm getting stuck on that? Feels kind of glitchy. Wall, are you open now? You look kind of open. Oh, it is open. Oh, I was right. Holy shit. Let's go check out the wall. Let's go check out the wall. More blood? Is this hair? Wow. Uh, is that her hair? What's with all the blood? This is kind of disturbing. The cellar is freedom. That's it? The, cell the cellar is freedom? Do I just have to go to the cellar? FREEDOM! Oh wait. Oh. I don't know if I have to po put anything, but I'm gonna try anyways. Wait, was there a button here? Was it real? Cause I can't just imagine reading that would open up the cellar. Would it? Maybe it would. I just want to double check there's no button over here. Button, button, who's got the button? Don't see a button nowhere. Alright. Let's go check out the cellar. Let's all go to the cellar. Let's all go to the cellar. Let's all go to the cellar. And find my incest daughter. Or inbred daughter. Whatever. Incest and bread all lead to the same thing. Look at there's windows down here too, but this is a, this is above. This is above, where I am. Right? Was there a window on the floor up there? Is this the sun coming down into another window? I I didn't see a window up there. I'm not even gonna check. I'm in the cellar now. So only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyways, and I'm free now, freedom. It took the end of humanity for me to find freedom. Holy shit. That is fucked. It seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods, her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts. Were those her fingers upstairs? My testament to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in pitch black. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her. Even now, it was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. Wow. That was it?
It just closed down. Holy fuck. I guess that's it. Um, apparently, he, he, he banged his daughter, which is fucked up. Uh, and then she died. And then he took her finger bones as a testament to freedom and, and breaking away from man's law. Probably ate her too because it was blood fucking everywhere. That is screwed up, man. That's so fucked. Well, I guess we know why it's called finger bones. But I'm still going to pretend this is getting finger boned. Just like his daughter. It's totally inappropriate, I know. But, you know, it's me. What are you going to do, right? Thanks for joining me. Uh, I'll have more stuff later. More fun stuff. Uh, maybe less depressing than that last game. Because that last game was definitely not uh, comforting. For lack of a better word. Bye, people. You guys rock. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And don't forget, tonight, when you're with your girlfriend or boyfriend, give them the good old finger bone.